Jonathan asks, I have an area in which everything is fine and for which I would like to set up a pool flow with Kevin. How can I convince a sector manager to get involved in the process? What's the point for him as long as he feels that everything is fine? Ah, oh, that's a hard one. Here's the problem. In the past month, I visited two factories I didn't know and where everything actually was not fine. In both cases, the plant managers saw a disaster coming. I mean, namely, they saw that the production would be moved out of high cost area to low cost areas. And they saw it and they were both looking for answers. In both cases, I tried to convince them that they had to go to pool with Kevin. <laughs> Neither of them ever called me back. It's a natural instinct to look for new solutions in what you already know. You think there must be a new method out there to better organize what you know so that you can come up with new ideas from old thinking. What are the chances of that? I mean, trust yourself. You'll probably do well what you already know how to do already. To come up with new ideas, you need to see new dots and then connect them. This is how new ideas come, connecting new dots together. And this is what a pool system does. By putting the precision of logistics first, it highlights every time a part is late. It immediately shows up problems. Problem in terms of work failing to achieve the expected results. And we can immediately see the causes of that. Mostly you'll find it's because some equipment or software is either malfunctioning or hard to handle. That's one. Then it's because some information or material is missing right when you need it. So that's two. Then it's because you miss something, you have to rework or redo a job, so that's three. Or because you schedule something else as a priority, so you can't serve your camera because you're busy doing something else. So here's four. Finally, you're unclear on how to do the job and it ends up taking far longer than expected. So the method needs clarification. That's five. We have all sorts of problems. Material problems such as quality, tools, equipment, information. And then we have people problems as uh, people who haven't been trained or people who can't do the job or who lack interest or enthusiasm or simply won't do it. These problems are our teachers to improve and they all will be revealed by the pool system. So no problem is your biggest problem here. To convince anyone, that person has to acknowledge first that performance should and could be improved. And second, that learning about Kanban cards and how to handle the ARP and so on are the way into the improvement, which, which does sound odd because it's at, at first glance unrelated to production. And secondly, uh, this is very much the territory of supply chain and they might not want to go there. The only way I know is first to show them that you understand how weird this looks from their point of view and reassure them that this is not a criticism of their work. And then you reinforce your common goal of improving performance. And finally, so you can try to find a first step they might be willing to make. But ultimately, you can show the way but not walk it for him. I'm sorry, there are no magic bullets or easy answer here, and I certainly don't succeed every time. You can support and make it easier, but the motivation to improve has to be there in the first place. If not, you keep pushing and you'll exhaust yourself trying to get the stone wall to move, and the results will be disappointing. So um, it's a very good question, it's one we all face, and the first step into it is to choose carefully the people you want to invest in and work with in order to get improvement moving. Good luck.